Hot 97, a new movement. Drewski in the building. South Ward is pulled up. You already know you heard. It's Bad Man, you already know how that go, you heard. Bad Man Real is in the building. If they don't know where South Ward is, break it down. Let the people know what we're talking South about. South Ward, that's the best words you heard. If you don't know, that's that's Newark, New Jersey you heard. That's where I'm from. The bottom, the bottom, you know. You know, that's 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 the best size, you know. You feel me? You know how that go. You might start some trouble because people up in the North Ward might feel nah, different. I fuck, you know? I fuck with, don't get me wrong, I fuck <laughs> with the North, you feel me? But, like, you know, I'm biased, you heard? So right. I'm always feel like the South is the best ward, you As know? you should. You feel me? It's always going to be like that. But know? outside of the ward, you've been holding Jersey down for the past couple months, something crazy. For sure. There's a new sound. Sure. You, you the face of it, right? But we need you to break it down because we hear his... What you do, I feel like, is more Jersey Club, rapping over yeah. Jersey Club. Then is a Jersey Drill yeah. movement going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Is is that the same thing? Is it um, separate band, man? All right, so let's say, like, all right, so it's it's not the same, but in a sense it is, you heard. Because, like, at, at the end of the day, it's all, you you really rapping about the same shit. Money, bitches, guns, right. cars, drugs, same shit. That's just drill rap. Only difference is I just rap. About it all on club, club beats, you feel me? But like, I see why it, it'd be like a, a um a, a difference because you know like Jersey drill and club drill is kind of like different because you know Jersey drill that's more raw. You heard right? You know, club could be taken more as um you know like more jumpy for the parties and shit like that. I mean, ooh, damn. right? It's okay. You done curse fifty times already. You ain't I even did. know. I didn't even it. know. Oh man, I'm, I'm cooking, man. It's but, cool. but it's all in the same family. Yeah. When, because Heartbroken was probably one of your first records, right? Where you rapping over a Jersey Club beat. Mm -hmm. Was there people doing it before you? Could you give credit to people? Yeah, yeah, nah, definitely. Um, Like, um, a lot of people actually probably like rap. I wouldn't say, I would say they, they put vocals Got over it. club beats, but I only know really one person that, that really rapped over club beats. That was, um, shout out to Unicorn. Unicorn. But even yeah. he wasn't yeah, like, talking as gangster. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, right. You feel me? Like it's a different. A lot of people rap on club beats before, on some on some vocal stuff, but like nobody did it like me. You heard? Like mm. I'm really like spitting like real bars over club. Like it's like it's not really no like a lot of people do these club songs now, trying to hop on the wave and trying to make make like a um a really big party song or right. a club song. But like with me, it's deeper than that. You know, like every bar that I say in my in my music just got like a meaning to it, and I just want to make sure that um you know Jersey really never had that uh. That spotlight, you know, mm -hmm. and club is 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 us. Cause club so, been around probably before, before you was even before born. My, I was born before <laughs> right. my, when my mother was coming up, you know. So it's like now that Jersey, we always had something mm -hmm. that we just never utilized. You you heard? So you know, with me, it's just it's bigger than just trying to make that a big party song. You know, I'm trying to really get this as a as a, a genre and really be able to put this in mainstream music and. Be able to incorporate it with other stuff like you know trap music, R and B music. Right. We could do stuff like club R and B, stuff like that to try to take it to a whole new level. You heard? Do you feel like it's connecting? Because I, oh, yeah, I nah, personally feel like sure, right nah, now, definitely like a lot of people, a lot of people definitely trying to hop on it. <laughs> but it's like just with me, it's just bigger. Like I'm trying to do something crazy. Like I want to do everything: club mm -hmm. drill, club R and B, club EDM, club country, club reggae, everything. You feel me? Add I'm the club into every everything, genre. every genre, and on top of that. Like, you feel me? Just make it raw. You heard really, really, really spit pain. Right. You know? Like, it's bigger than just the music with me. Be because it's raw for you and you're talking, like you said, your truth on it. Do you feel like that's why it's been connecting um, much quicker than a lot of people? I would say, yeah. Because, like, um, definitely the beats is definitely um, there. But, like, you, like, a lot of the stuff that I talk about, if you got to really listen. Like, mm -hmm. you, know, like you got to really, like take the time and listen to the stuff I'll be saying in my songs. I'll be saying a lot of real stuff that really went on in my life and just a lot of stuff that go on in my environment and then I just, like, translate into the music. Right. Because the, the club, Bandman Real, is maybe a year old. Mm -hmm. Before that, you was already doing music. Yeah. But, you know, more melodic type of records. Mm -hmm. more, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I always, always, always been, like, always had a thing for, like, for like, uh, like pain music, right? Like so, like, I always, always like to make everything like authentic and, and stuff like that. I felt like the pain music was a way to really be able because I, I look at music like not like no diary or nothing, but it's like that's how I express myself. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So like I'll, I'll do the pain music because it'll be like I could really tell a story, but like with the club, club was like the only other genre besides like drill, 
and all that. I just felt like I feel like I could t- really tell a story with Club too, because like you know, like even just down to the sample, like right. A lot of people be using samples and don't really know the um like the history, history behind. behind it, you know. And like I, I my my father was a DJ. You heard so every day it was house music. Like I know I know every sample that these mm-hmm. kids you put in a song word for word, bar for bar. So it's like. I really be knowing the culture behind it, so it's like it's more than just the song. It's like the sample, on top of the the, the bars, on top of the beat, and then you just put it all right. together, and it's, and it's come like like this. You feel me? I call it a masterpiece. You feel me? Now, and, your dad being a DJ, yeah, putting you on the game. His son becomes an artist. Yeah, and you know it's crazy. I got eleven brothers. All of them rap. I never wanted to rap. All eleven. All not ten of them rap. One don't. But I, I'm, I'm the youngest. I never wanted to be no rapper. Or I, I just wanted to box. But you did box for yeah, a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, were you nice? Know. Of course. Did what? you take any L's? What? Nah, I lost one fight. But that's one the fight. only fight I ever lost. All right, so let's let's keep it in, in this in the town. Let's keep it in Brick City. Mm-hmm. You versus Steven Shakur. Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson. I I ain't gonna hold you. Shakur. You think Shakur, he can take you? You feel me? You feel me? Shakur. You think you know, Shakur I, can I, take I know, you? I know a lot of I know a lot of Shakur peoples. You heard? You know, I'm, uh, I used to box at Eben Ali. His um grandfather used to always He's come. You know, with uh, his um. Like his little nephews, we used to always spar. I ain't gonna hold you, Shakur. Different. His but body's different. He 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 different. But I ain't going. You heard? We're gonna <laughs> have to do like three, four. You heard? But I ain't going. But not Shakur. Shout out to Shakur. I, you feel me? He different. He doing his thing. H- have y'all spoke or tapped? Nah, in? I never. I never. I never met Shakur ever. I just we just got a lot of mutuals. I know right, his right, grandfather. Right. I know his little cousins. You know, mm-hmm. feel me? But like me and him never um never really connected. I feel like there has to be some connection coming. Yeah, nah, for sure. I think for at sure, his definitely. next fight, you should be walking him out at one of these nah, fights. Nah, for sure. I'm with it, on bro. I'm with it. Shakur, <laughs> tap in. We <laughs> need Bam Man to walk you out in the next fight. I know he's fighting soon. Oh, Maybe enough. not this one, but the next one. Mm-hmm. By then. Mm-hmm. Begging. I'll be, I be at all the fights, too. You're right. I'll be betting all the time. I'll be there. Who's Wait. your favorite boxer all the time? Floyd. Floyd Mayweather. Of course. Of course. Even though people say he don't really... Get it in. His it defense matter. is crazy, but it's about being smart in this in this world in this game. He was mm. just, he outsmarted the system. You feel me? So regardless of anybody, say he got the most money, the most wins, the most everything. Right. So it ain't really nothing you could tell. You feel me? So I just that's what I admire. You feel me? Like really, you gotta be smart with this shit. Do you feel like you apply some of your boxing skills oh, to the music? Definitely. De- Cause outside Bo- of just making music, yeah. just the game. Like I yeah, could tell like, you know how to move. You're yeah. quick with it, right? Like, yeah, like the first time I hit you for the record, I just hit you in, on a DM. Like, yo, send me, mm-hmm. and you was on it. Like, oh yeah, no, nah, I made that. You sent something, then you hit me back. Like, yo, hold on, that's not the right one. Let me send it again, <laughs> right? So I'm like, yeah. oh, he's on it. Like, he's not waiting nah. for nobody. He's disciplined. Yeah, nah, for sure, boxing definitely taught me. Like, ever since a young age, you heard, um, like my father used to box too, so my mother um got me into it real early. So it taught me a lot of discipline, you know. I I, I um I started boxing like a a, a dominantly Muslim boxing mm-hmm. gym, so I learned a lot about not just boxing but also the religion of Islam. Right. So you know, it just it just taught me a lot of um self discipline that I just keep carry with me every day of my life, and whether it's, that's music or whatever I'm doing, you know, I just always try to stay as disciplined as possible so I can stay on top of everything. Do you consider yourself Muslim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you are Muslim. Yeah. Muslim. yeah. And well, your pops too. Yeah, my father Muslim. So uh, the question earlier was now you know your pops is a DJ, but now you performing that American Dream in front of three thousand plus people. How does your father react <laughs> to that? How does he feel? I don't, I don't really talk to my pops no okay. more. Okay, yeah, he um he be around, but I mean I see him here and there. So. But he knows what's going on. Yeah, nah, Nick. People be coming up to my, <laughs> my father all the time, like, "Yo, your son." Nah, 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 nah. He be calling. He be trying to call, come around. But. Is he the one with the eleven boys? Or like it's yeah, split up. All, yeah, it's all his, all his kids. Yeah, pops had eleven boys. Yeah, nah, his pullout game was in the basement. I don't, I don't know. That's what he was going insane. For. Yeah, nah. That's Do you, as a kid, you see what's going on? Being the youngest, like damn, I got eleven. So you're the twelfth one, or you're um, the eleventh one? Yeah, I'm the twelfth. I'm the youngest out of all of the brothers, and I got a little sister. Got it. Uh huh. So twelve boys. Mm-hmm. Does, does it make you say like, yo, when I'm out here getting busy, I gotta. Yeah, like, like I can't be reckless like my pops was. Yeah, nah. Growing up, you know that that's another reason why, aside from boxing, I was so disciplined because like I, a lot of my family is um, like a lot of my family are, are actually somebody you heard. So mm-hmm. like it was real easy for me coming up because my um my older brothers they always kept me on like the um, the right path you know. Right. They always wanted what was best for me. Like they always just wanted me to stay focused on, 
on getting money and, and, and getting it out because they, you know, they was doing anything else. They tried everything else. It didn't work. So, you know, they always kept me on the right path. You know? He was the baby baby bro. Yeah, nah, word. Anything anything wasn't going down. I couldn't even do nothing. Like, I try to come outside, run something. Like, they nah. telling me going out. So I'm trying to smoke. Nah, they take me to the back. You know, so it's like, it's just, I had the right people around me. Right. Because yeah. now in this position, you appreciate it. Yeah, nah, for like, sure. Thank I appreciate God it. they ain't had me running around. Who, who knows? Who like, knows so that would have been? Like, they told me they told me so much. They told me a lot. Anything I really know. Like, everybody, shout out my mother. Even though I'm talking to my pop, shout out my pop. She showed me a lot. And all my brothers, they really held it down. When they see all the, the great things going on, and for you it's still early, but to the outside world sometimes it could look like it's super duper lit. Yeah. Are they circling back like, yo, let me hold something? Like, come on, I know, I know you <laughs> yeah, got a record be, deal. I let be, me hold something. I be, I be, I be, when I, I ain't signed, you heard, I ain't signed to no major label, you feel me? We just working. But, um, yeah, nah, you already know that come with it. But, you know, that's nothing, you feel me? It's always like that was mine, it's theirs, it's theirs, it's mine, you know? Right. It is what it is. Because Wap was up here. Shout out to Fetty Wap, because we're yeah. going to talk about the record you got with him. Mm -hmm. But he was telling us, like, I think in, in one year, I'm, in one trip, he spent like eight million dollars on one trip because he took the whole gang with him. That's crazy. To like, yeah, they, nah. oh, L.A. He took his family. He took his family, his family to, LA to L.A. for like his mom's birthday. Yeah, and it cost him eight million dollars. Eight million is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. We we could we could go to like, <laughs> we could go down PA and do like a nice little family reunion. You feel me? Take it something. to the Poconos. Or yeah, something. like do something. Not for eight M's though. That's right. crazy. That's that's a that's more than a record deal. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But the deal is coming because yeah, you're course. moving. Mm -hmm. You get the deal. What's the first thing Bandman Man is the purchasing? First, the first thing I'm I'm purchasing is my mother want a, a all silver 2020 Range Rover and she want a crib. That's the first thing I'm getting with her. She, she already that, told you what yeah, she, she wants. I already know what she wants. You feel me? It's going to happen. You feel me? That's the first thing I'm buying. Shout the moms. It's know. coming Shout shortly mom too. Dukes, you already know. It's right around the corner, Bandman. Nah, Man. It is. I know it's, you it's feel crazy. it. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Like, Everything just crazy, but like everybody be always be telling me like how epic and everything like, cause I'm really making history. You heard like nobody mm -hmm. from Newark, New Jersey, besides like Red Man, really like did anything like this before. Like this, this will really go down in history. You heard. So I just want to do the right thing for me, run it all the way up. Not just with music for me. I want to do this, cause I want to. I want to take this to a whole. New, I want to go corporate. I want. Right. I want to be in the office with the the mayor and stuff like that. You feel me? Like I want. I want to take this to a whole new. To do a whole new Do level. you feel like you would? Start your own label and oh, sign yeah, nah, artists? Because sure, you've definitely. managed artists before, oh, right? Yeah, I got two artists. I got that you um, manage. Yeah, that I manage. An artist that's working hard yeah. like yourself, mm -hmm. you find time to manage other artists. Yeah, nah, for sure. Cause you know, at, at the end of the day, it don't it don't just end with me, you know. Uh, it's a lot of little um it's a lot of little like a little younger people um from Nook and I'm mm -hmm. just like a little of the youngest from my hood, you know, they just nice, they got talent, you know. And if I got the money to whether well, managing the artist is not really like I don't anybody, cause, yeah, yeah. anybody could be my anybody could be a manager. Like and you, you know, my 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 role as a manager, I look at it like I just you know make sure you know you you doing what you're supposed to do. You know, I, I, not out here wilding. You're right. in the studio. You know, videos. Cooking up. You feel me? I'm just making sure you you doing what you got to do for you to get to that next level. You know, right? You feel me? So like when I manage artists, I just I just I just look at the talent. I just see if they really want to put the work in. You know, and I just I don't mind. You feel me? Like getting you in that studio every day or or, or getting that video out that you want to pay. I just want to do. What other people not out here doing. Right. Know? Share your blessings nah, for with sure. other people. Definitely, you know. Now, yeah. I'm sure every artist in Newark right now is asking for features. Oh, nah. What, what's, what's the response now to when artists are like, um, yo, I got a record, I, I need you to get on it. Can uh, can you do everything right now? Or let's um, break down the focus so we can make it clear. Like, all right, so this is how the feature thing work. Um, <laughs> I do, if, if the art is hard, Right. I wouldn't really like you for me. Like, or if I fuck with you, you for me, you probably get the song for free. You right. I mean, if you if you like the record. Yeah. But like, if it's just like somebody from Note coming, you feel me? I'm a I'm a I'm a throw them the I'm a throw them the price. You feel me? I'm a look out though, cause you know it's 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 Nook, You feel me? Mm -hmm. you feel me? I would want somebody to do the um the same for me. But I'm, it's bigger than Nook now. Nah, it's it's definitely it's definitely, it's definitely it's definitely bigger than Nook. It's definitely bigger than Jersey. I just got I just got a um. I just got a thing for my for my city. You heard? I just know it's a lot of talent out here, right? Especially in Newark, New Jersey, that's just just overlooked. You know, so I'm gonna do everything in my power, regardless how you know how it's gonna come to you know get that done. Right. But you got to be working though. You can't just be no no ass nigga trying to come with no 
just get me on your song. Just, you just trying to get me to jump like, on me, it. I, I, that ain't I, I, happening, yeah, bro. I gotta admire your work ethic and and all. Like you feel me? You gotta be putting in work, cause like honestly, like if you want me to be a hundred percent honest, when I first when I first started rapping on um. Like Jersey Club beats, a lot of niggas from Nook wasn't was not rocking Jacking with it. it. Was not rocking with it. A lot of artists, a lot of artists to this day. Like I had artists tell me like, "Yo, this is not what the <laughs> industry want to hear." Like, bro, right. you guys, I'm like, bro, cause you ain't making nowhere neither. How you telling? Yeah, me how? Why I'm gonna listen to yeah, you? Yeah, like you see, what I'm saying like, but like, you feel me? So I had a, I had a lot of people that 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 doubted me when I first started this, but you know, like I knew this was gonna come. I knew like if you keep working, you know, you're gonna come to you. You got to keep working, putting that pain in. So you know. I admire people that do the same. Right. You know, I didn't really get no handouts from nobody. Everything I did, I did myself, whether that's promotion or, or just meeting, you know, networking, getting myself in the right rooms I need to be. Like I did a I did a lot of that myself before I even got here. So, you know, it's just I just like to um admire the work ethic. If you got the work ethic and I feel like you uh talented, I definitely look out for me. I'm down to work with anybody. Right. Which people gotta respect, right? Because a lot of times an artist like you put in all the work on your own. Get yourself lit. And then they turn into like, I ain't rocking with nobody. Nobody was jacking me. Yeah. Stay away from me now. But you still open to like yeah, nah, working you know, with people. Because at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, like, ain't nothing personal. Like, you know, we all come from the same thing. We all, if I wasn't rapping and I was from Nook and I found out some little kid was out here trying to rap on club <laughs> beats, I probably would have thought it was foolish too. That's just where we come from. You, you know? understand it. Yeah, so I get it. Like, for me, I ain't, ain't really nothing personal. It's just, it is what it is. Before you was rapping on the beats, were you in the parties dancing? Were you Team I, Little Man? Me, me, you? me personally, I was never no dancer. I like to, to I like to Mac with the females, you heard. Like, mm. in the parties, I, I never been the, the dancer. I just been... Up on the, the wall, one that get the, the females, you heard, you feel me? Not even on the wall, you feel me? I might bust a little move out here and there, you heard KB bounce, you feel me? But I'm I'm, I'm normally on the females, you heard. Right. You ain't Mr. Yeah, dance, nah, man. Nah, I ain't Mr. I ain't, in the I middle ain't of the circle. Here, nah. Here and there, Who's you next might. Jump here, in. And there, here and there, you might catch me here and there. Who's nah, next? Jump in. Lil, Band Lil, man nah, jumping in. Little man was crazy. I, now, nah, little man, I ain't going to hold you. Little man, and like when I, when I was in like seventh grade, little man had the streets, you heard. We used to, we used to all be in like seventh grade. We have a substitute teacher. Somebody would come with the um the speaker there, turn right. on little man. It'd be a circle where everybody just jump in the circle. Between wild. little man and Frosty. Oh nah, Frosty had the streets. It on, was bro. going crazy with that. The... He had some shit called play that guitar. What? It's over. Everybody was doing it. The whole school. Not just the school, the whole north. Oh like, yeah, of course. Every everywhere everybody, though. Like, everybody in nah. Jersey, every college, everything. Bro. And speaking of college, I'm sure that's probably one of your biggest markets right now. College. Every college I'm is trying reaching to set out. Up, I'm trying to set up a um college tour. A college tour. You know, I got my team on it right now. Um, if you're watching this, any colleges, any any fraternities, you feel me? If you want to tap in, you know, tap in with me. We trying to get a lot of stuff done. Right, me? and tap in now because oh yeah, nah, the price is only now. going definitely up. Definitely tap in now. Lock <laughs> it in now because the price is going <laughs> bro, bro, up. Bro, bro, bro. Band man real in the building, Jersey yeah, in the no building. Real. Now, as far as the music, everyone's paying attention. Are we getting a, a Jersey club? Oh yeah, nah, tape definitely, like a, a definitely, EP definitely, with just a bunch definitely. of see. You know, I, I I just don't know how I want to do it yet. You know, I don't know if I want to put straight, like, club drill right. type stuff up there. Or should I just do a whole Jersey club in general where it could mm -hmm. be, like, a club drill song, maybe, like, a little club R&B song, maybe, like, a little club slash NYC drill, you right. know? I just, I, I just don't really know. I, I know it's a lot of music there. Like, if, if I wanted to, we could have put some. I just want to do it the most strategic way possible, you know? I feel like you should mix it up. Yeah, mix it up. Cause yeah. you could do that, you know yeah. what I'm saying. You mm -hmm. could mix it up, and, yeah. And, and mm -hmm. mix and shout to Shaw Ek, right? You just oh, yeah, did a record yeah, with Shaw. We just did a record um yesterday. That's a record hard. I ain't cause, gonna lie. Cause now you see a lot of the Bronx and Brooklyn artists that do drill music tapping in to, yeah, to the tapping style into of the Jersey Jersey, the Jersey drill, style, right? Yeah, you know, I, and and that's you know I I don't really I don't I don't really like try to downplay or like you feel me saying anything mm -hmm. to anybody that be hopping on the wave, cause like um. At the end of the day, that's what is that's what that's, that's, what, that's what it what, is. That's yeah, what creates that's music, you know. Like one person got to do it, and then everybody got to keep putting a right. You feel me? But you know, I'm, I'm really I'm I'm happy I'm I'm happy as hell that Jersey finally got something that people could copy. But do you, know? you feel like if they're gonna jump on it, they got to tap in with Bandman? Oh no, nah, they definitely got to tap in. With, with, if not just tap in with Bandman, but just just tap into the culture, you know. Like, right, right. If right. You gonna do it? Know what you doing? You don't gotta come tap into me with me. You heard? Even though I'm the <laughs> I, I'm the face of it, you feel me? I feel right. like you know, know you feel me? No, no cocky is just you know, just know know the culture. You heard? Just if you're gonna do something, just 
just know the the, the history behind it. Mm-hmm. For me, so like that record really could just be more than just lyrics and the the beat. You know, what is I'm is there any artists that you would work with or like before even doing the club joints from the town, from New York, from Bro- mm-hmm. the Bronx that yeah. you want to work with? Is there any like um, specific artist? Any specific artist that I want to like on like a, on like a club tip? Yeah, like now that you the you the guy mm-hmm. for the Jersey Club. Yeah. You see people doing records. Mm-hmm. Shout out to like B Love. Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like uh-huh. shout out to um I sent you a record, Lee Drilly from the oh, yeah, yeah, Remember, yeah, like yeah, yeah, they yeah. all tapping in. So mm-hmm. but is this specific um, artist that you like, yo. You know, you know what's crazy? I actually um I actually always wanted to do something with um E K. Um, okay. You know, cause like um I me and E K kinda been like we've been following each other, we've been tapped in since like our first me heartbroken. So that was like like right, so you knew year. it was real, like organic. Yeah, like you feel me, and like I just feel as though, like me personally, this is my personal opinion. I, I just feel like he the hardest. Like mm-hmm. I just like the way, like I like the energy that he bring when he rap and um and stuff like that. Even when we was recording, like when when I first was was on the beat, I wasn't even feeling. It. I'm like, yo, he came, we gonna have to do something else. <laughs> like he like, nah, man, man, that's hard. I'm about to come in here. He came in and now we start going back to back. You know, I just like the energy. Right, you know? right. So I like, he- I like creating good music. You know. So I just felt as though, like, when we probably would have made the, like, I just felt we was going to make, like, the best sounding mm-hmm. song, you feel me? Do we have a Polo G on a Jersey Club record? We need to. We definitely we, we, need we to. We don't got Polo on one yet? I feel Polo, like if anyone could do it. Polo, we need you on, we need you, because Polo going to walk it down. I, I, you know you know why I, 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 I like, you know, you was at the Polo, you know? Right, right. I like, I like, I like Polo because he don't let the beat breathe. Like, if mm-hmm. you listen to me, like, I, I rap from beginning to end like nah, polo, polo got a verse he going to walk from beginning to end like that's how i know if he was to get on the club song it'd be crazy because it'll be like his i feel like he just walk it right yeah. but you, you haven't cooked nothing up with him yet no 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 that gotta be that gotta be that gotta be the one like that gotta be that song like that takes some preparation you know bro because he did bring you out at american dream a lot of people was mm-hmm. like yeah. oh Polo rock with Bam man. Like yeah. any little cosign goes a long way. Yeah. But when you have someone like Polo who's mm. top of the game, yeah, bringing you out. Mm. What what was that like? Yo, I'm gonna be in Jersey. I want you to pop out. Um, like, how did that relationship work? All right, so, all right, so I'm gonna break it down. Um, I'm from Jersey, and um, uh, so, shout out to my um, uh, independent label that I'm signed to right now. Uh, 100. Uh, 1865. My management. Um. Actually, uh, we we somehow we we got up with um A and R from Columbia. His name Busy. Um, he's from Jersey City. Yeah, shout the Busy. Yeah, you know. So um, come to find out, we just had a lot of um like mutuals. Mutual, right. Yeah. So it was just easy, you know. And then I, um Polo was just was just rocking with the music. So he so, was already in tune. Yeah. So like, I I I went I flew out to Cali um, I think like last month, and then right. I just I linked with Busy and Polo out there. Just let him hear some of the music, and he was just he was just you know rocking with me. So ever since then, it's just I, I appreciate him that for that. You know, just you know, he told me he had a show in Jersey. He wanted to bring me out because he was rocking with me. So I was just like, oh. for me, I appreciate it. For me, it was something big. Yeah, that goes a long way. Yeah, nah, for sure. Like those are little moments in your career you'll remember later. Like yo, yeah, remember like, when we popped out? Yeah, that's crazy too. Like on um, bro, like I just graduated high school two years ago. We was just in high school skipping, bumping, dying breed. Um, right. Bro, I'm arguing with me like yo, polo really <laughs> that. I'm two years. I'm for me, we in the stool like. Just grateful you heard. I'm blessed. Has there been any other artists? Uh, clearly, you was with Fetty Wap. Mm-hmm. He, he gave yeah. the co-sign. Yeah, uh-huh. for sure. Um, Somewhere like the hottest young artist in Jersey, mm-hmm. right? For people like us, Fetty's like legend. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Nah, His numbers Fetty is crazy. Is definitely is, what he put on for Jersey is different. So there's another co-sign for Fetty. Mm-hmm. Y'all got records coming out, videos yeah. coming out. Has there been any other like cosigns like that? Um, Shout out to Fatboy SSC because oh yeah, we boy, see that you Fatboy definitely be um definitely tapped in. Uh, Sue Surf, Sue Surf Shout tapped to in. Surf, Surf definitely tapped in. I rock with Surf. Um, Coyle Ray was playing. Coyle Ray joint. was the first. Uh, Shout out Shotgun Shug too. He be in tune. Um, Jim Jones, I, I'll be uh, uh in tune with Jim right. Jones. Shout out did it too. You know, I got um who else? I think I think it's another one. I'm missing one. One. Big Have one. you and Coy spoke? Yeah, yeah, I, I spoke to Koi. I spoke to Koi, um, like early, like when, when Heartbroken first came. Oh, out. Okay, okay, yeah, but um, cause we definitely need a Koi Ray. Yeah, nah, for sure. Koi, man, man, Koi, be, Koi be playing. We could have been got that in. Yeah. See what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, that's that's really it though, as far as cosigns. I'm sh- people are paying attention. Nah, we for sure. we know what time it is. It's sure, Bam in real time. 
do you like being? It's called Jersey Club because, or do we got to create a whole name? Nah, for nah, it? I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just leave it as as Jersey Club, or or we could rock out on on some club drill. Club drill, like maybe Jersey Club and club drill. Because then people say Jersey names. drill. Because you know, like Jersey drill, cool, but like I feel as though like if you. I, I say Jersey Drill is everything as a collective. Mm. Like I say Jersey Drill is club drill and regular drill songs. I I feel like Jersey Drill is just a general statement. Got it. But like I say like Jersey Club or Club Drill is like more specific. You know what I'm I was gonna be like, well, what do you do? Yeah, right? like, that's the question. Because like you know why you know why I say Jersey Drill is like, because one Jersey Drill is like. <laughs> it's so many different parts of Jersey. Like the top of Jersey don't rap like the bottom part. Right, of right, right. So I'm saying, like, if you're gonna say if it's any type of drill, why would you say Jersey drill? Like Chicago drill don't call they they Illinois drill. It's mm. called Chicago drill. So like, I feel like that if it's any drilling, it, it'd be called North drill or like something like that. Right. But I wouldn't say Jersey drill because I just feel like that's a general statement. Yeah. They going people are just gonna make up their own yeah like genre. You feel me and then like yeah I already, I already know how that go but I, I say I say like I definitely I definitely say like it's um club drill Jersey club those those two because you can't really you can't leave Jersey club out of anything right like it, that's what it is regardless and that's the the essence of what records like heartbroken is yeah it uh-huh. comes from Jersey club music mm-hmm. you rapping on it for people that may be on their rock and haven't heard it yet I want to play a record. What you want to play? Let's let's play something before we get out of here. <laughs> let's give them uh, something. What you want to give them? What you want to give them, Juicy? We could do begging. Begging you performed that American begging, Dream. Begging crazy. You yeah, want to do that? Yeah, let's do begging. Unless let's you got begging. an let's exclusive you want to drop. Hmm. Nah, we're going to do begging. We're going to do, do begging. begging. They just got to wait. We're going to do begging. And I'm, I'm actually about to drop again this month. I'm trying. I'm honestly. I'm trying to drop two, three times a month. Like, two, three times. I'm trying. You loaded. You ready trying, to go? I'm, but what? I got videos on videos, songs on songs. I'm ready to drop. Listen, they they waiting for it. I already know. You feel me? Viral on video. TikTok. Viral bro, on YouTube. Oh, bro, oh, bro. Tell them how they can follow you and tap in with you everything. Already know you can follow me on everything at Bandman Real. Literally, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Everything is the same. Get into them. You heard. Let's connect. You feel me? Anybody, fan, supporters, mm-hmm. artists, anybody. Let's connect. You heard. Let's make it happen. Is there anyone you want to shout out? Cause you know the jails be tuned in. Oh, now we jails. got the jails. Now we got the jails dancing <laughs> oh, the club free, music. Hey, free Gliz, you heard? You already know free Gliz. My son gonna be home real soon. Free dollars, free nut. Long live D Look. You heard? I love everybody. Shout out my family. Shout out everybody that's rocking me. I love y'all. I love everybody that been rocking me. No matter if you was rocking me from yesterday or the first day I started, I love y'all. You heard? Appreciate y'all, bro. Let's do it, Batman. Real DJ Drewski, the new movement. Bow.